Good morning, everyone. I'm just uh, up here at the school getting ready to give a little demonstration on this uh, figurative uh, found art sculpture. But I was playing with the glasses because I had this, you know, funny thought like, you know, you guys don't see me in glasses very much. I have to wear them to read. But, you know, when, when, you, when you have glasses, and some of you do, you know, you, you probably are more aware of the fact of, of, you know, with readers, you have them on and off all the time. So they could be here or I could be not using them and they'd be up here. I call this the Californian right here. This is like, you know, with the Ray-Ban look. You wear them way back here. You know, so you got that look, which is this sort of sunglasses look. This is what I'd call the librarian, you know, the kind of studious look where I'd, you know, be doing stuff and look over the top of my glasses. Or, you know, then you got the, you got where you're holding them here and you're doing other stuff with your hands. And this is what I call the worker, you know, and just put them on and off. And, as a, and then this, this is what I might call the jeweler or the monocle. Anyways, so here we are. I don't actually need them right now. So I've collected a bunch of, um, I miss y'all, I miss teaching. Um, I've expressed that a bunch, but uh, this is, you know, this, it's been slow um, with uh, getting rolling. Uh, I'm trying to keep it real simple and just start out with these three assignments that you choose from. A lot of you have done more than one. I'm hoping a bunch of you do all three of them. Um, any of the ones you do now, you'll be able to use uh, in place of other ones later because uh, we're going to end up having to do several assignments. I'm going to try to go between drawing and then a mixed media and then a three-dimensional sculpture and do that for all my classes and, and try to keep it interesting. And, and uh, I don't want to spend a bunch of time on this video today. Um, with all of that, uh, I'll, I'll try to set some side, some, I'll try to set aside some time later this week to explain, you know, further grading and things like that. But I want to get this third assignment out there. Um, and um, so first step, collecting materials. I have some cardboard that I've found. Uh, I found some wire that was around. I have a couple of different types of tape here. Um, and uh, I, I found, you know, I'm up at the art class, so I've got a bunch of stuff. I've got some string and some plastic bags, grocery bags, garbage bags. Uh, I have a pop can and, and uh, then I just went through a bunch of junk drawers. This is, looks like an old, like, measuring thing for drinks or I don't know what it is, but I found that. And I've, I came across this whistle that was on a keychain, and some nuts and bolts, and some kind of hair clip. I don't have any hair, so I'd have to do something else with it. But I looked at it, and I and I kind of saw this this uh, mouth, you know. And uh, so um, I wanted to give you a, a thoughts. Oh, and and then I had some uh, playing cards, you know. And there's just a, a lot of different ways you could go about building a sculpture. I think I put a bunch of examples in there of various different materials. And so you just need to go find all the stuff you want. You could even use like dried grasses, dried flowers, uh, sticks, rocks, things from the outside. Just get a big collection of stuff and sit down somewhere and then start playing around with it, you know, like, uh, I, I was messing around before I started doing this video here a second ago and and uh, I was playing around with this uh, pop can a little bit and I realized that in the top of this that this fit inside of it so that then I had this you know I had this look right away that I could I could go with it was like a a neck piece you know that didn't work very good because it just fell through. But anyway, so I, I realized that I could put something inside of something. I've already got kind of a figurative thing there and I just got started. I don't like the look of the pop can. I would have to sand that or wrap something around it, you know, or glue things to the outside of it. I could glue multiple cards all around it. I don't, I don't like to see 
like logos and stuff and, and have it known what it was. I'd get to fixing that later. And then I found this little, I don't know whether this is like a cover for a drain or an old toy or something. And I realized that if I could get that attached here somewhere and get, you know, then I could start having kind of a head and neck affair to it. So, you know, the, the idea that, that I've got pieces that are gonna start working together in some sort of way. Now I just pushed that through there and thought maybe that would be a cool kind of mouthpiece. So, you know, as we start going now, I start thinking about this figure in some ways that I could build that. Um, there's so many different ways to go. A lot of you, you know, have old, you know, Amazon boxes that come with packaging or, or whatever it is. You know, there's a lot of cardboard, bubble wrap, different things like that. Now here, I've decided like, what if I, I found this piece and I broke it apart? And now I'm just gonna take a piece of masking tape. The biggest challenge that you guys are gonna face when you're working with this thing is, is that you're gonna have a hard time figuring out how to bind it together. Um, for those of you at home that are lucky enough to sort of have a glue gun, obviously glue guns work really good, but a lot of you are probably gonna have to go much more low tech than that. Here I used a piece of tape. I could have wrapped string around this. I could have taken a piece of this and uh, cut it or ripped it. And I could use this to tie around things. My sculpture could be big or small. You can see here, I've joined a couple of things together by just tying it. If I kept tying it together like that and tying other things, I could actually probably bind the whole thing with garbage bags. Um, these are also kind of cool to do different hair stuff with. Like here, I'm gonna just cut into this and you know, now all of a sudden I've got this ability to create textures for things, you know, like I'm just going to keep pushing and playing with this for a second, but so, you know, I mean, depending on what I'm doing and where I'm at, these could be arms or legs or part of a neck or part of whatever it is I work towards sort of assembling this now I'm starting to get some kind of figure now granted this is pretty ugly I just wanted to give you some demonstration all of a sudden I got an idea now for this I put this thing I don't really like the, uh, this here, but put this thing on here. That's fine. You know, I can start being the flavor of flav of found art, get myself a little whistle or whatever it is I need. So, you know, and then I just keep adding to it. I could add, you know, things up here for eyes. I've got to find ways to assemble stuff, even pieces of paper that are small like this, especially stuff that has these cool colors and patterns on them. Like I could just fold a bunch of this stuff up and bend it and assemble it together in various different ways by just adding thing, you know, glue, uh, cutting and, and building. So I know it's not, you know, much of a demonstration. I wish we had more time where I could really kind of sit down and, and go through that, but you're going to need to find some string, some wire or some glue or some plastic bags, lay out a whole bunch of materials, go through the junk drawers, um, and start assembling it. You know, if you have patience and time, you know, um, Elmer's glue 
and just glue the pieces together or if you happen to have a glue gun you can glue them together otherwise you're going to have to tape or wire or bind with stuff that's found around the house i'm really curious and interested to see what y'all come up with i think it's a cool assignment it'll, it'll kill a couple of three hours if you really get into it as always my thing's going to be like the more detailed and the more sort of hidden like if i can see the pop can with sprite on it then it's not very interesting to me if i took some sandpaper and sanded this pure aluminum or um, I, I wrapped stuff around and glued it onto here so that i changed the nature of what it was then all of a sudden um, it's more interesting. The less you can see the assembly, the more little details that you can get in, um, the, the better it's going to be. So, really quickly, you need to do one of these three. They need to be done by um, April 24th, and um, one of those will get some grade. If you're struggling you don't know what to do the non-dominant hand assignment is only 30 minutes worth of work everybody has to answer the questions on this figurative thing whether you're doing the figurative thing or not i put that in the stream today um, it's weird for me to try to not be able to check in with people and 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 not know how this is going and i'm getting some good comments People said they liked the videos. People said that they'd like to see a bigger overview of what the deadlines are. Um, I will get to the deadlines and the grading this week and really try to flush that out. All right, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're in, having a good week. Um, and thanks for watching and I will talk to you again soon.